The ruling, which goes into effect on December 9, will benefit Epic Games. The video game maker, led by Tim Sweeney, created its own in-app payment system to avoid Apple's 30% cut of its in-app purchases, which resulted in a ban of Fortnite from the App Store. Shortly after in August 2020, Epic sued Apple, arguing that Apple was abusing its monopolistic position and engaging in anti-competitive practices by only allowing Apple payment systems in apps. However, it does find that Apple's conduct in enforcing anti-steering restrictions is anti-competitive. The judge also addressed Epic's clandestine efforts to go around Apple's payment system, stating it had breached its contract with the Cupertino, California-based company, led by Tim Cook. Epic will have to pay Apple 30% of revenue collected from their own system, which amounts to roughly $3.5 million. Epic did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Analysts agree that this ruling has little financial impact on Apple. According to Dan Ives, analyst at Wedbush Securities, the ruling is a containable legal blow to Apple. By his estimates, there is less than 5% of revenue from the App Store at risk as a result of this change. The Apple App Store remains a moat and this does not significantly move the needle. Apple currently collects 15% to 30% of app developers' revenue if the payments were transacted through its App Store.